Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in detail about the preparation properties and applications of individual plastics. Especially, I am going to discuss in detail about the polyvinyl chloride, bakelite and polycarbonate. So, initially moving to polyvinyl chloride. It can also be called as PVC and it is the thermoplastic. So, polyvinyl chloride is the thermoplastic and hence it can be prepared through addition polymerization. Addition polymerization is also called as chain polymerization and here in particular, this polyvinyl chloride is prepared from free radical chain polymerization. So, initially coming to the preparation of polyvinyl chloride. It can be prepared from vinyl chloride. So, the formula of vinyl chloride is CH2 double bond CHCl. So, it is called as vinyl chloride. So, vinyl chloride monomers undergoes Free radical chain polymerization in the presence of benzoyl peroxide as the catalyst when the temperature is maintained around 30 to 80 degrees centigrade. Then it results in the formation of polyvinyl chloride so during the formation of polyvinyl chloride initially the double bond of vinyl chloride undergoes cleavage with the result the chain extension takes place on either side of the monomer and hence the structure of polyvinyl chloride is CH2 single bond CHCl. The same structure will be repeated n number of times. So during the preparation of polyvinyl chloride what is the monomer used? Vinyl chloride and what is the catalyst used? Benzoyl peroxide. Initially, this benzoyl peroxide dissociates into free radical and hence by the attack of the free radical, the chain initiation takes place and hence the reaction in particular is called free radical chain polymerization. And always remember that vinyl chloride is not readily available and hence vinyl chloride can be prepared from acetylene. So, what is the structure of acetylene? It is CH triple bond CH. So, whenever acetylene is treated with HCl in the presence of metal oxide as the catalyst, when the temperature is maintained from 60 to 80 degrees centigrade, then it results in the formation of vinyl chloride that is CH2 double bond CHCl. So, whenever acetylene is treated with HCl, simply HCl will be added on acetylene in the presence of 
metal oxide as the catalyst and when the temperature is maintained from 60 to 80 degrees centigrade then it results in the formation of vinyl chloride. This is about the preparation of polyvinyl chloride. Next, moving to the properties of polyvinyl chloride. In general, polyvinyl chloride is a colorless and non-inflammable material. So, what type of material? The polyvinyl chloride is a colorless and non-inflammable material. And whenever if we compare the tensile strength of polyvinyl chloride, tensile strength of polyvinyl chloride is always greater than that of polythene. At the same time, it shows much resistance towards oxygen, carbon dioxide and moisture. These are the few important properties about the PVC that is polyvinyl chloride. Next, coming to the applications. This polyvinyl chloride is highly useful for the manufacturing of pipes under the brand name PVC pipes. At the same time, PVC is highly useful for the manufacturing of safety helmets and also refrigerator components. At the same time, PVC is highly useful for the manufacturing of raincoats, curtains and tablecloths. So, this is all about the preparation properties and applications of PVC that is polyvinyl chloride. Next, we will discuss about the Bakelite. So, the present concept is Bakelite. Coming to the Bakelite, it is good example for thermoset plastic. So, Bakelite is good example for thermoset plastic and hence it can be prepared through condensation polymerization. So, Bakelite can be prepared through condensation polymerization. Especially condensation polymerization involves step mechanism. So, Bakelite formation can be done through step process. Especially the preparation of Bakelite involves three steps. So, Bakelite preparation involves three step process. So, initially moving to the first step. In the first step, especially two monomers such as phenol and formaldehyde. So, in the first step, 
phenol reacts with formaldehyde in the first step phenol reacts with formaldehyde in the presence of either acid or base as the catalyst it results in the formation of two isomers namely ortho isomer and para isomer so the preparation of bakelite involves three step process so in this process in the first step phenol reacts with formaldehyde and it results in the formation of ortho isomer and para isomer so this isomer is called as ortho hydroxy methyl phenol and the second isomer is known as para hydroxy methyl phenol so bakelite can be prepared by using two monomers namely phenol and formaldehyde and thus bakelite is also known as phenol formaldehyde resin so bakelite can be prepared from phenol and formaldehyde so whenever phenol is treated with formaldehyde in the presence of an acid or base as the catalyst then it results in the formation of two isomers namely ortho hydroxy methyl phenol and para hydroxy methyl phenol this is the first step and here ortho hydroxy methyl phenol is responsible for the formation of bakelite so that is about the first step and coming to the second step in the second step here exclusively ortho hydroxy methyl phenol so especially ortho hydroxy methyl phenol undergoes polymerization so here we have to consider only ortho hydroxy methyl phenol so in particular ortho hydroxy methyl phenols they undergoes polymerization in this polymerization process the oh of hydroxy methyl group combines with the hydrogen of the second ortho hydroxy methyl phenol and thus water molecule will be eliminated in the similar way here also water molecule will be eliminated so minus 2n h2o then it results in the formation of a linear polymer just to join these two isomers 
only water molecules will be eliminated so coming to the structure of the linear polymer there will be no change in the position of hydroxy groups just two ortho isomers will be joined through methylene linkage that is ch2 linkage so this polymer is having linear structure so what type of structure is having this polymer it is having linear structure and hence it is called as linear polymer in particular this compound is called as novellac so in the second step what happens the ortho hydroxy methyl phenol isomers undergoes polymerization then it results in the formation of a linear polymer called novellac so in the second step it exclusively results in the formation of novellac coming to the step 3 in step 3 novellac in the presence of hexa methylene tetramine undergoes cross linked polymerization and results in the formation of pecalite so in the presence of hexa methylene tetramine as the catalyst this novellac undergoes cross linked polymerization so while writing the structure of pecalite initially we have to consider the structure of novellac in two layers so coming to the structure of novellac always remember phenol groups are attached through methylene group so this is the linear structure of novellac we have to consider second layer also while writing the second layer of novellac structure always remember the branches will be projected either above the plane or below the plane so while writing the second layer we have to represent oh groups below the plane and hence here all the phenol groups are attached from the bottom side these are the two layers of novellac isn't it and these two layers are attached through methylene groups in that way cross links will be formed between the two layers of the novellac and hence finally it results in the formation of cross linked structure so becalite is having cross linked structure is it clear so becalite can be prepared through condensation polymerization and it involves three steps so in the third step novellac undergoes cross linked polymerization in the presence of hexa methylene tetramine as the catalyst and finally it results in the formation of 
bakelite so let us discuss about the properties and applications coming to the properties of bakelite generally bakelite is a dark colored substance so bakelite is a dark colored substance it is having good corrosion resistance and also it is having excellent electrical resistance so with the result bakelite is highly useful for the manufacturing of switches switch boards sockets etc at the same time bakelite is highly useful for the manufacturing of clocks buttons washing machine parts etc so these are the important applications of bakelite next we will discuss about the polycarbonate so the third individual plastic is polycarbonate and it is also a good example for thermo set plastic hence it can be prepared through condensation polymerization so coming to the preparation of polycarbonate it can be prepared by the reaction between bisphenol and phosgene so what is the structure of bisphenol bisphenol means c ch3 ch3 so methyl group is present two times and phenol is also present two times and this compound is called as bis phenol so bis phenol reacts with phosgene means c double bond o cl2 so during the polymerization reaction hcl molecules will be eliminated so during the polymerization reaction hcl molecules will be eliminated then what is the structure of polycarbonate coming to the structure of polycarbonate just hydrogen and chlorine atoms will be eliminated as hcl and there will be no change with respect to the remaining atoms c ch3 ch3 benzene o and here the two monomers will be joined so it is c double bond o here the carbonate group is repeated n number of times and hence it is called as polycarbonate so coming to the preparation of polycarbonate it can be prepared by the reaction between bisphenol 
and phosgene. Clear? Next, we will discuss about the properties and applications. So, polycarbonate is a transparent material. It is having very high chemical resistance. It is impermeable to oxygen, moisture, etc. And coming to the applications, this polycarbonate is also having very good tensile strength. So, coming to the applications, because of the high tensile strain, polycarbonates are highly useful for the manufacturing of bulletproof jockets and they can be used for the manufacturing of goggles. And also they can be used for the manufacturing of CD and DVDs. These are the few applications of polycarbonates. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.